Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about one thing today that EA needs to fix in this game. This has been an issue for a, such a long time, and it was brought to light yet again. I don't see enough people talking about it, but this is an issue that has been problematic the entire year of FIFA. It's problematic right now because of what's happening with content and SBC fodder cards, and it's also problematic even just a couple weeks ago with items being extinct, and we're talking about price ranges. So I'm going to I'm going to cover the market as normal and we'll talk about that sort of stuff heading into Sunday. But also what I'm going to talk about today is just these price ranges and EA needs to fix this, right? They have to fix price ranges. They have to change what they're doing because right now, because of the SBC content that we had yesterday on Saturday inside of FIFA, the 84 and 85 SBC fodder cards on the market are basically extinct or right at the cusp of extinction and that is because EA has lowered price ranges on these 84 and 85 rated cards a couple weeks ago they lowered them now let's talk about price ranges for a second because a lot of things people don't understand this is this is actual fact price ranges are updated and changed it's not by a manual person that is doing them as far as I am concerned I'm pretty sure uh, we have we know that EA does price ranges based off of a computer so it's auto updating it's like automatic whatever parameters that they have set are just not good enough take a look at this extinct on pc extinct on xbox and at the max buy it now on the playstation like 18k is the lowest uh buy it now for a lot of these cards all the while 18,000 coins as well some of them have like you know 20 or 18 or 19,000 coin caps but 18k for all of these 85s and most of them are extinct i mean you look earlier in the year take a look at delict right this delict card has a okay. He has a twenty-four thousand coin price range, so that's that's uh, I guess you could say a different one. But take a look at the ZH, right? He's got a eighteen thousand coins price range. How much was he earlier on in the year? He was eighteen k in earlier in March um, when price ranges were a lot higher. Twenty-five k, twenty-five thousand coins. Now I think EA re reduced the ranges in the past month because again we've been so you know down in the seven k range up to the twelve. And they really have not gotten close to that 18k range but this is something that's just so inconsistent in fifa i don't know why they downgraded if especially ea knows what content they're planning to put out in this game if they're planning to put out content that is like this when there's no supply for the market and you know that these 82 to 88 upgrades people aren't doing this to craft this SBC. they're just going out and buying the players to get this done that they need to finish the SBC. so um, since there's no supply, you know the demand is there for an SBC like this, you need to update those price ranges. That's honestly what it has to be when fodder gets really expensive and it goes extinct. That is literally uh, stopping people from, you know, interacting with the content of FIFA. And it's something, these price ranges have really bugged me for a while. Um, but again, it was brought up today and I feel like I need to talk about it because, again, this is something that's been a problem in FIFA for a long time. I mean, take a look at ZH, bro. He's got one page of cards on the market at 18,000 coins. 18k one page and we have no supply for these cards unless ea change something up and run some sort of like foot player days which we'll talk about in a little bit again um you know this this stuff is just gonna stay extinct right unless there's some sort of supply that comes out of this game or you know some sort of drop in demand but with that ptg or tots sbc coming out and again they've been dropping good content in the past three four days they're trying to carry this week with sbc content nobody's going to be able to buy these cards because they're going to be extinct if we have any more demand and with without any more supply so that is a crazy thing to me um and you know it's not just with fodder cards right i don't understand why this computer or this algorithm algorithm that they have to update price ranges i don't understand it's never consistent i know that's a word we use all the time with esports inconsistency is big but you guys remember what happened with the first day of ptg when these cards came out right vinicius was extinct griezmann was extinct havertz was extinct they all got updated in the first hour of their cards or maybe hour and a half hour and a half wow that's a bad voice crack don't remember that anyways they all got updated like this right but then earlier on in the year we have tots cards that are extinct for multiple days and we have i mean i don't know if you guys remember this or not but this might have been one of the longest streaks of a card being extinct on the market due to a price range and that is bruno fernandez bruno fernandez this card was extinct for like a week and a half before it came on the market at three million coins earlier on this year and, and what is this like march i mean this guy was ridiculously expensive when he first came on the market after being extinct for so long 
it's just crazy, right? I don't understand why sometimes things upgrade like this, but then other times it takes weeks. And again, I, it's just the inconsistency here is, is crazy, right? I mean, even at the beginning of the game, people buy up cards, they get cr close to their price range, and then EA waits forever to upgrade them. It makes us think that they're they're trying not to let traders make coins in this game. Um, I guess you could say that this ploy of not updating the 85 price ranges is trying to stop people from making even more coins on these cards. I get that. I guess that is a point you could make. Um, but I, again, I just feel like that they should know their own game a lot better. With all of this content that's coming out, if you would have told me, hey, on Friday, that they were going to put all this content out and it's going to be SBC-based content, not content from, uh, you know, in packs, then... Yeah, I would be like, okay, well, right now fodder is already high for where it has been, and our price ranges are really, really close uh, to their max, and I think we need to update some of these. But of course, they did not. They did not think ahead and do that, and now we are stuck with. If you're trying to do any of these SBCs, you're going to have to go out and buy like an 89 rated card and a bunch of 83s, and that's impacting the market as well. Because look at 83s, bro. Since 84s and 85s are extinct. 82 cards are 3,000 coins a piece. That's usually where 83s are, and 83s are 7K. That's usually where 84s are. So, I mean, it's crazy that all this fodder is going up. There is a lot of demand, and I I understand that. I think the problem I have with this with it is if people want to pay a certain price for an SBC card, EA Sports, let them do it, right? Let them do it. These price ranges need to go up. Speaking of price ranges too, Path to Glory Team 2 cards. What in the world is going on with these price ranges? Joao Felix, 5 mil? 5 million coins. I do not understand why this price range is 5 million coins. We had a theory last Friday that when they drop these cards, they put the price ranges so high that um, so that when they were listed up, people would list at the highest point and then there'd be constant selling and selling. With all the supply, it would basically take that card longer to get down to a lower price um, before people, you know, so then people would buy it along the way, go try it out in the first earlier part of the day and then lose a lot of coins after that. That's just one of the, you know, the small things that it seems that EA do to try to make people lose coins on this game. But some of these price ranges for these PTG cards in T2 are ridiculous. 6.7 mil for Pogba. He's literally 1.25. Like that, it should not be that high. A lot of these cards, and we see this a lot, right? Um, this is the graph. This number right here is the one that I like to use. This uh, this PRP, the price range percentage, I believe is what it's called. Firmino was at the 22nd percentile of his price range from 350K to 6.7 mil. Um I think you really want to see these more at like the 50% or maybe even 60%. Now, I understand for a live card, you can say, oh, nay, well, if there's a lot of hype. This card could go up a ton because he gets upgraded and, and all that. There's no shot that Joao Felix ever gets close to even a million coins again, in my opinion, unless they go on and win the entire shebang. Portugal wins the entire Euros. Then maybe he gets somewhat close to like 800K. But like... I mean, five mil like that, that's ridiculous. So that's, again, price ranges on this game are just so confusing. They're so inconsistent and they don't make sense. And that is one thing that if I could speak to Foot Economist or EA Sports, I would say, get this figured out because for your user base, it makes things a lot easier when they can actually A, find them on the market and B, uh, when if I want to do an SBC, I don't have to look for a card that is extinct and try to snipe it for 15 minutes to do the SBC because I can't find it on the market so that is my i guess you could say small rant uh i'm not like upset at ea sports about it i just know they can do better because again these cards get their price ranges updated like this and then we have to wait weeks for other ones and now we have this sbc fodder situation uh at a point in the year where a lot of the content is released purely for the fun and purely for you know you know, there's, there's not a lot to do at this stage of the game. So EA puts out a lot of that SBC fodder content. You're turning in 84, 85, 86 rated squads. And I just let us do it, right? Like right now you can barely go buy 84s and 85s in the market because they are, they are extinct. So again, that's just kind of my thought process right now and how I'm, you know, not, dude, look at this. Two Brozoviches on the market for 10K, crazy. So I'm just honestly thinking for this week going forward, Fodder's probably just going to stay high unless they run a foot player days promo, which some people were asking me about that. How can they get fodder to decrease? Now, I since we're inside of um, Festival of Football, I really don't think they're going to release a foot player days. I, I really don't think they're going to release foot player days because that's like a promo that usually runs in the background. And we already have one that's Festival of Football. I guess it's, they could. 
They could drop some sort of packs, some sort of SBCs that supply the market with tradable stuff, but the market hasn't been super duper high for that long. And I know that EA knows that this Friday is going to be a huge inflection, inflection point of supply when people who have saved up packs because we've known Summer Stars is coming for the last two days, uh, seven days of buildup, literally a week of buildup for that promo. And of course, the preview packs are still going to be out then as well. So um, I don't know if EA is going to do anything, but again, you're seeing this fodder is just going up and going up and going up. People are doing 85 rated squads right now uh, with 87s and some 82s and 83s because again, there's no other options. So I think that even some of this higher rated fodder could continue to go higher. Right now, Griezmann's only 32 uh, k He was 37 k at a couple points. So that could be a potential situation as well. Right now with, you know, people wanting to do, there's just a lot of the SBC content that is being released, right? We had the Ramos this week. Um, we had that player pick that was dropped yesterday. We had the Adair SBC, uh, the, the Icon Moments repeatable upgrade, the Icon Moments or Prime player pick. Um, there's just a lot of SBC content that is available to interact with in this game. And uh, that's where kind of the hype is coming this week. Now, thinking about Sunday, right? Thinking about today, what's going to be happening today on the market? Well, of course, we've already seen it. A lot of our French cards uh, from the Weekend League are absolutely taking a dump on the market. So what's happening for sure, this Kloss card was up at 100 and I think his absolute peak was 160,000 coins on the PlayStation. And he is now back down to 80,000 coins so a crazy crazy drop off there Ariola was like 160 170 and i believe that he is down at 90,000 coins for his card so a crazy drop there i mean i always check ben yetter too right so one thing i look out for today is if you see more panic selling on some of these cards um like ben yetter fluctuates around a lot if you see some big undercuts in these cards today that are still french if they go lower than what they were last week before the um weekend league plus stuff was released uh that could be a situation right this bukiele 180,000 coins for this card who was up at 300k on friday morning crazy crazy price drop off there of course um i think lacroix which i even have one in my team right now i'm losing some coins on this guy because he is 280,000 coins after being 400k the ramos sbc hurt his price a little bit for sure but it's just crazy to see this drop off in the french cards we knew it was coming now a little bit of a tinfoil hat theory i don't know when they dropped the weekend league plus objectives last week but a little bit of a tinfoil hat theory is since we had a french objective player with lucas hernandez last week they then required french players for your starting squad now we have belotti this week and that has people thinking that it might be an italian basically weekend league plus for italians this coming weekend so if that's a, an investment like you want to make some speculative buys on that again that is pure rumors and pure hearsay, um, but I like what's going on with this. I think this is fun. It's cool. Uh, you don't have to get involved if you don't want to. I saw a lot of people that weren't doing it for the extra player picks this weekend. I'm almost to my first one, um, but yeah, it's cool, right? And also, I'm not sure if they're going to do this again, though, because again, usually they don't do this on promo weekends. Like As we talked about, this is usually an objective that comes out when we don't have cards in packs, so I'm very curious to see if they do more of that now today on the market you're probably just going to see some cards continue to go down yesterday i made a couple bit of movements i sold my Verratti at 525k and this is actually a card that i want to look at with you guys right now because um he is actually down post game he was just at 595 sorry 495 and he is 510 he is getting a second upgrade on this friday this friday this card's getting upgraded again but he kind of peaked like right when the goal goal was scored i sold mine at 525 and he has kind of gone down a, a little bit since then. I, I guess there's just not that much hype uh, for this card, or there's a little bit of over-investing as well. Uh, but also, I think some of the upgrades are already built into his price because people were expecting Italy to do well. So you saw some panic selling, though, with that guaranteed PTG player pick, or the, the PTG or TOTS player pick. Foden was down at 530. He's back up at 575. Uh, I shouted it on my video earlier today at the content drop. I said that Joao Felix at 310 was a dub. Uh, Joao Felix, you know, could easily be 340 by the morning. He's back to 330 already right now. Militao is absolutely flying because I'm hearing he's OP, super cracked. And Brazil play today. Brazil play today, so could have another upgrade for Firmino, Militao, and Vinicius Jr. incoming after a potential fourth win with Brazil playing Bolivia 
today. Now, also, I traded with some Paredes because right around content drop, um, somebody undercut this and Footbin caught it. I was sniping these at 72, 73K, literally sat there for like five minutes uh, and I bought, I think like seven or eight of them. I sold them all at 87, 86, 87,000 coins to lazies, right? He's 81,000 coins right now. So that was a GG. Still have my chill wells that I bought at 60. 9,000 coins, he's 93K. Josef got a 60, he's 86. And Alexis Sanchez got a 71, he is 95. Now, I don't think these teams, Mara, um, Chile and Venezuela, I don't think they have really good shots of getting upgrades. But again, people are using these cards as super subs. They're just getting a little bit more rare after that panic that was last week. Uh, so that's why they are going up. And with no more supply, makes me honestly just want to hold these a little bit longer. Uh, maybe I'll cash them out and just take my coins. But those were pretty solid investments right there. And I'm going to keep holding on to Chilwell because I think that that price is, when this guy was 60K was just way, way, way too cheap, especially if England can pull out a dub um, and get that third win, which they are one win away from. That'd be a huge W for them. So again, watch the weekly sell off today. Like you saw me watch that baby Vieira. 460K is pretty low for him. And with the French restrictions taken away and taken off of this game, I would really watch out for some of your Real Madrid links as well. Like if you see this Hazard down some, if you see this Marcus Llorente dip back down, maybe your Jordi Alba team, the season card, uh, with whatever content comes out today on Sunday, I would 100% get involved in watching some of that stuff because I do think uh, that people might be buying things to link with their Ramos cards if they have done the SBC. Um after this weekend league sell-off. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for. Also, another week of objectives with squad battles. Uh, so there's going to be a decent amount of supply, not for anything that's in packs, of course, but there will be some packs opened uh, tonight, Sunday night with squad battle rewards because of these right here. Um, and that, of course, people doing these made people want uh, go and play squad battle. So they're going to get the tradable packs for that, which might supply fodder a little bit, but that's like, you know, nothing in comparison to what a lightning round would do or what preview packs would do if there were any on this game. So again, I just want to talk about price ranges because that was something I was thinking about and EA just got to fix it, right? We, we need some consistency there. Um, we just need to know, or it seems like it's just what, change your computer, the, the computer that's updating price ranges or the algorithm that is doing that. We just got to get that changed so that it's more consistent, right? I mean, I don't understand how it can be so inconsistent at times in this game. That's just very, very confusing to me. So if we can get that fixed, and we can have a lot more consistency with that stuff. That would be fantastic. That'd be great to have on this game. So we're watching the PTG cards again today. Not, not really sure what's going to happen today for content on Sunday. Potentially maybe an icon player SBC. That could be one thing that we might expect uh, because we, we kind of have been getting two icons um, in the past couple of weeks. So if they would drop us two more icons, that'd be great, EA Sports, if you wanted to do that. Last week, of course, we had Maradona and Henri. If you wanted to drop us maybe a, a Dutch icon, a Dutch icon and maybe an English icon, it'd have to be Moments Rio probably. Uh, Moments Rio and why not, man? Give us Moments Croy for Moments Hull at EA Sports. That would be insane if he did that. And it, the SBC would be so expensive because of fodder being so high right now. But that'd be that'd be honestly like comical to see how much they would price that SBC at uh, at this time in this game because again uh how much is the maradona spc 4.35 million coins that's the issue with these icon spcs bro is that they're they're pricing them at a point when they know fodder is low dude this guy's spc is 4.3 mil to do you can go and buy them on the market for 3.2 ridiculous that's crazy that should not be a thing that should not happen Thierry Henry, i believe is like a 1 million coin card or lower and uh, his SBC is 1.33. Yeah, this card's a million coins and his SBC is 300K more. So that's just crazy. But that's just the name of the game right now. Fodder is sky high. Your tots, your team of the week fodder as well, since that was required for the player pick today. That stuff went crazy. If you had any of those cards that you bought, you were in the big time money with those as well. So that's the video today. Again, just kind of putting what's on my mind out there with the price range stuff. Don't know if EA is going to hear it, but uh, I really hope that they make that a priority for FIBA 22. And that would be very nice for this game if that stuff was fixed. I'm not holding on any hopes, but hopefully there are some changes made there. And uh, yeah, really curious to see what the content is today on Sunday. Usually we expect upgrade packs, but there's already kind of upgrade packs out with player picks um, to grind the icon packs and to grind the SBCs. I don't expect more of those today because there's nothing in packs. So really not sure what's going to be happening today on Sunday for content, but we will be here on Twitch most likely. Um, I've been a little under the weather today, so if we're feeling better tomorrow... 
then we'll be live streaming around the content drop. That'll be the plan. That link is down below in the description. And uh, I will catch you guys there. All right, boys, it's been Nathan for the Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.